Hi everyone, I am so excited to be bringing you a stable tour of the Van Oost Horses Stable. Now, I'm so excited because they're just waiting around the corner. They've come off a huge couple of weeks, basically winning everything. So let's go say hello and find out what makes this place so special. Hello, <laughs> thank you for having me. I'm Matt. Lottie. Nice to, nice meet, to meet, you. meet you. Hi, Matt. Hi, Nice, to meet, nice to meet you, Matt. Very Hi, nice Anna. to meet you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so excited to, to be here, to finally meet you guys. Um, I've been following your stables and uh, you guys individually as riders for so long. Um, and I know for all of our dressage enthusiasts, this is an amazing opportunity and selfishly for me as well. So I'm very excited to see what makes this place so special and how you've been able to achieve all of your amazing uh, goals throughout the years. Okay. I, I know there's a lot of um, different sections of the stables you guys are involved from the beginning right all the way through yeah. to the end. So I kind of want to leave the stable to really up to you guys and where do you think we should go first? Where, where well, does we it start begin right here? on here because uh, here is one of our um, important parts of the business here we have our quarantine place. Okay. It's all uh, fulfilling all the needs for yeah. For all, all countries, so we can export all over the world. Yeah. The stallions are in there normally in quarantine. Here you see the lab, the laboratory where we freeze the semen. Yeah. And over there we collect the semen. And just out of curiosity, what kind of countries, because everybody thinks of the main countries, but have you had some very odd countries that have asked to have some, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you some mentioned of it. your yeah, yeah, magic yeah. stuff? It's, I don't really know how to worldwide. appropriately call that. It's yeah. Go, it's yeah. going all over, yeah, yeah, yeah. For instance, like uh, uh, Australia is the most difficult country, yeah, and that's why you need uh, you need here the the, the 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 space between the place where the horses go and where the people go and uh, yeah. I mean, in Australia, we have a lot of your lines, so that that makes sense yeah. that it's uh, <laughs> that it's reaching us over there too. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the house where uh, and uh, and I am living. Oh, awesome! So you guys yeah. are on the property. You get we to keep a watchful yeah. eye on, the <laughs> yeah. on everything, together with uh, the dogs. <laughs> yeah, is that a good thing, or do you sometimes think you know, a little bit of space would be if nice? If you ask me, yeah, it's a good thing. Is a good yeah, thing. I'm but, not so uh, keen on it. But okay. Not so keen on it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind living in the village or something. Is but there, okay, it's good. Is there any plans for the future for a change, or you're you're okay. happy yeah. like this? I'm very happy like this. Uh, okay, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> everything okay. Happy wife. Yeah, happy, happy life. life. That's true. So this is the outdoor arena 6020 with the, we call it the ebb and flood system, so where the water, where you pump up the water. Yeah. It's very nice floor for very nice uh, uh, to train uh, with all kinds of other types. So this is where we always train outside. Okay, amazing. Uh, what about you Lottie, do you prefer indoor or outdoor? Do you have a, do you have a preference? Depends on the weather. Depends sure. on, yeah, well that's true. I'm not so keen on riding in the rain. Yeah. And for sure when we get to a show, as soon as I sit on the horse, it starts raining. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I love riding outdoors yeah. for sure, but it has to be nice weather. I agree. <laughs> I, and I also always say, because at home, at our house, we only have an outdoor, and I say I ride horses for fun, so if it's pouring rain, I'm not riding. <laughs> it's <laughs> not so happening. Fun. Yeah, so then fun. it's uh, that is not for me. Yeah. <laughs> And so this, this stable's already behind us as we're coming down the outdoor, but this is not the main stable block. No, the, the main stable block we have inside. Yeah. But this is also uh, four, five, six years old horses who I'm training. Okay. And it works here, this, uh, this part behind uh, the gate. Okay. So, and you have nice uh, outdoor stables. When we came to here, there was only this line of boxes. Yeah. And this was all grass here and the house was almost finished. So when we came here, we bought this, or we got this here, this small area. And a bit by bit. Bit by bit, you guys put your own it. stamp on it for yeah. what you needed. Yeah. Okay, so this is, we're approaching now the main stable block here. Yeah, this is a sports stable. This is where we train, where we have all the facilities. Uh, the riders have uh, this own stable thing with the washing places and the tech rooms. Awesome. And this is what all uh, happening here. And then on top, we have the, uh, the office. And the office is more or less the, the heart of the business. Yeah. The, we do the, the administration for the breeding we do over there. I have my own office there. And I think now we're going to go where, where we find you guys <laughs> during the during yes. the day. <laughs> wow. So I see there's been some celebrations going on. So obviously you Lottie had amazing success in Herning and now in Ermelo. So double world champion. And then with Kento, you also had an amazing run. So this is some of the decorations from that. Yeah, most of these are still up from uh, the Herning success. Yeah. Uh, it was a nice surprise when we got home that the team had put everything up for us and covered it in British flags. So it almost feels like we're in England now. Yeah. Um, and then we have a few extra little things uh, since being in Amlo and Kento also uh, 
did really well. So, yeah. Yeah, lots of celebrations going on. It's kind of nice to keep them up for a while to make it real because we were talking a little bit before filming and life goes so quickly that you can easily move on to the next show and just forget. But this kind of keeps it alive a little bit. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's really awesome. So this is the indoor. Nice and airy. Yeah. It's really nice in here. So this is where you and Anna are getting to work and uh, practicing yeah. and riding yeah. and... This is where we spend all day, yeah. every day. Yeah. <laughs> Training. Amazing. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but if you're enjoying the content here on Horse World TV, then become a member and get instant access to hundreds of videos. We cover a variety of topics and disciplines, all horse related. So if you're interested, join now and access all the playlists and all the videos straight away. And how is that dynamic for you guys? Because you've been here for eight years, you said, so I'm sure you've grown quite close and you know each other quite well. Uh, but how involved are you still, Anna, on like the everyday basis with Lottie and with training? I think we are, we are really trying to keep up with that uh, every day. Normally I write in the morning and we write together. I keep an eye on each other and I keep an eye on the other riders. I yeah. Have. yeah. And then uh, I get every day we talk about with horses, we have to train together. And then the whole afternoon, in fact, we are training together. Okay, so that's yeah. nice to always have and the guidance and yeah, yeah. And really it's the amazing, planning yeah. towards. So we take it from the show and then we go back and say, okay, we have to start training this and that. And then we really try to plan very much ahead for each horse. Yeah. But I think we also both uh, very good in saying, okay, you know, we are never panicking up to a show and say, yeah. oh, now we have to need to work more because then we are just saying, no, we planned. That yeah. we need a day off today and that we are really not overworking them. And I think that's also a very important thing that we are doing. Yeah. yeah. yeah definitely. <laughs> Is there disagreement sometimes? Like, are you guys seeing for the most part the same when it comes to training horses? Or is there times where maybe uh, you see differently on how to approach something? I think it's very similar. It's not very often we would I disagree think, on no. anything. And Hardly never. I think we both know that Anna is is the best and the boss, so better listen to Anna. <laughs> you should have said the best. You shouldn't have said the boss. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't think there's anyone in this world who is a better trainer than Anna, and I think having that belief and really trusting each other is, is the key. Amazing. So I definitely see there's a running theme with, uh, with the horses here. There's a lot of black, yeah. beautiful horses. Couple of other colors, but mostly black. Mostly black, yeah. 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 So maybe, Lottie, you can take me through some of the very special, there's, I mean, they're all special. Yeah. But some of the extra <laughs> special horses that you have uh, in this stable block. So these two here, these are this is two eight-year-olds, uh, both by Everdale. Wow. Um, and both very, very talented. So I'm really excited about the, the future with these two. He's like a little unicorn. Yeah. It catches everyone's eye and he knows he's beautiful. Yeah. They all know they're beautiful, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then moving forward, which other ones are you like very excited about? Um, so this is my uh, up and coming Grand Prix horse, Don Joe. And um, he is 10 years old and uh, he's also going to be very exciting. He's done a few Grand Prix already. And now we're getting to the very, very important boys. <laughs> The VIPs. Yeah, you can see he's all decked out still, which I love. Yeah, he has his decorations up still, which are probably going to last for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you've developed quite a special bond with him already because even mm -hmm. when we came in before, he was like calling out to you straight away and he's very, he seems very affectionate. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's very chatty and very affectionate. He loves paddles. Um, they get very jealous of each other. I think they have a little competition going on, him and Everdale. Yeah. They both have really nice big apartment stables. Yeah, I can um. see. So they're very comfortable and very happy. Yeah. And so, they're, they're right next to the tack room and the wash place. So yeah. they're always the first ones that get the carrots. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And for everyone at home, this is obviously Glamourdale and this is Everdale right, be <laughs> right behind me. Hey. Very, very special boys. Would you say you have a favorite between them? It's I mean, impossible. Yeah. And we're stood right next to them, so they're, they're <laughs> yeah. all here. I'll ask later, maybe. <laughs> I'm a bit further away. Here we have the king of the stable, the most important horse of our stable. It's wow. uh, Negro. There he is in the flesh. Negro's, he looks amazing. Yeah, still going strong. He's coming uh, 28 next year. Yeah. He's looking unbelievable and uh, he's um, still asked. There's still a lot of demand for him. Yeah. Uh, he's of course, uh, for us, a very important style. And, and 
Almost all our horses, there's a little bit Negrin or directly or through the mother or grandmother. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he makes famous horses like uh, Fallegro. Yeah. And Olympic winner, world record holder. And, and uh, we have, of course, Kento, we have Nacho. There's so many yeah. important horses by him. So he's uh, from unbelievable value for us and for our whole setup. In, yeah. fa in fact, he's uh, the basic for everything. I still can't believe how good he looks. I mean, he's yeah. fully pumped up with muscles and yeah. he's. Yeah, and he's very cute. Like we were walking past the cameras before, and he was like really looking, and uh, yeah, he, he seems wants, like a very sweet horse. He wants to know everything. He wants to see who's coming in, who's going out. He wants to have control of the whole thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but even if it looked like his expression is like uh, like, yeah. a, like a young horse, huh? So this is inclusive. This is inclusive. Yeah, nine years old. Uh, he's um, from the oldest uh, offspring of Everdale, and he's uh, he did do some Grand Prix already, and he's very talented. He's uh, like Everdale himself, he's playing uh, with the most difficult exercises. Amazing. Yeah, precise, super, and uh, no, he's really talented, and uh, we have big hopes uh, for him for the future. Yeah. To be uh, following up. Uh, in the footsteps. Yeah, in the footsteps. Okay, incredible. And one horse I would love to ask about is Kento. I know he's of standing course. close. He's standing close. He's to obviously Negro. just had a huge uh, success. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about how it was in Ermelo with him. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it was amazing. Um, he's really stepped up to the to the seven-year-old really easily. Uh, there's a lot more difficult movements in this test yeah. for him. Um, and yeah, he's just taken it all in his stride. The In the qualifier, which he, he won already on Friday, yeah. um, he did a really nice test. Um, yeah, showed how amazing he is. And then in the final, he, he just gave even more and he just was absolutely incredible. Would you say he's one to watch for the future? Is this a oh, horse we're gonna be seeing yeah. in the... He finds everything so easy and he's just like born for the collection. Um, yeah. So all the all the Grand Prix stuff comes so easily to him. And yeah, he's he's definitely gonna be one to watch. Amazing. I know there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of hype uh, about him already for a long time in the dressage world, but I think after Ermelo, uh, his name is in everybody's mouth, and I think there's gonna be, yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of exciting things for him in the future. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so this is your gym? This is the, uh, the horse gym, yeah. Um, about uh, five or six years ago, we decided to invest in, uh, in, um, in this equipment just to yeah. keep our horses fit. Our horses are, of course, uh, top athletes. We aim, we aim for the top level, for the highest, for the Grand Prix, and everything. And we want to keep them fit in a nice way, a good way. So we have, uh, besides the walker over there, we have the aqua trainer, we yeah. have the treadmill, you have Amazing. the spa, yeah. you have the trilling plate, and that is for the weight, to get the weight of the horses before they go to show when they come back. Yeah. Incredible, and I like that it's all rubber as well. Yeah. You really feel okay. like you're that's, going into the gym. It's quite important, of course, if they make a funny move that they don't slip out and things like that, so. Yeah. No, it's working out nice, we're, uh, we're happy with it. Very nice, and I saw there's some horses around the, yeah. the side here as there's well. No Everywhere you look here, there's <laughs> horses. There's horses all over. <laughs> Uh, this one is from six years old, Lantanas. Lantanas is doing very well. He's getting his uh, first offspring this year on the Stelling Show. This is going to Amazing. be very uh, exciting. Yeah. Um, but he's doing well. Lottie, oh, he's almost ready for light too, Lottie, I think. Huh? Yeah, he yeah. is. He's very talented. Yeah. Amazing. And then this is a young four years old Stelling. Uh, he has never been to a Stelling Show, but he still has high, very high expectations. Okay. Yeah. He's a talented one. Yeah, he's just talented. knocking on the door, and that's why he's close. Uh, yeah. so those are close, they are naughty. <laughs> <laughs> no, not naughty, but they this are knocking on the so door. This one is so beautiful. Yeah. This one is stunning. And yeah. he's also quite tall compared to some of the other very ones you tall. have in the, in the other stable. Very tall he's also and very easy. Yeah? Very easy. Yeah. Wow, amazing. He's also by Negro. But he's Negro. Yeah, he carries <laughs> that through. His name is uh, Nacho, he's uh, Negro Crack. And, uh, Although he's big, he's very balanced and very uh, talented. He's always yeah. nice in the contact and always nice on the, on the hind leg. Yeah. Okay, and how is Jonas Huddle? He's amazing. Even from, I mean, the first time I rode him when he was just backed, um, he's been so balanced and so easy to train right from the beginning. It was, it was literally like sitting on an older horse, even when he was just backed. Yeah. Um, it's just like he knows everything already. Um, and yeah, he's just a real pleasure to train. So we're at the young horse stable section. Yeah. And these are all the two-year-olds? No, they, those are all uh, two years old geldings. 
Ja. Uh, the, having the young horse is a very important thing for us because that's where we get uh, our new, new stars from. And every year we buy around and breed around 100, 110 foals. Wow. <clears throat> but they don't come here. They go to different places. And then uh, by, uh, by the time they get two years old, they come to here. And like this group of geldings we got in uh, 10 days ago. Uh, and we are now going to se uh, select them. We have already x-rayed them now, and now we're going to select them, see what they have. Yeah. And then make our choices. Uh, those are all gelding, so they're probably going to be sold one day. Yeah. <coughs> probably in uh, one of our auctions, which we will have quite soon. Yeah. And maybe a few of them we give some time to, uh, to develop, uh, and, and hopefully there's some new future stars in between. Are you guys always <coughs> looking to more hang on to the stallions because of the breeding aspect? Is that... or? Yeah, that, it that, doesn't matter. That was about 10 years ago, but it's, it's more, getting more and more interesting to get good uh, mares, mare foals as well. Oh, yeah. And yeah. out of this pick, have you already spotted one or two special horses that you think are very well, talented already? Yeah. To Maybe be we can have a little look if there's one or two that you, that you like already. Uh, this group is, uh, is uh, they're all nice horses here, those four. Yeah. We, we selected them already. There were a few more, but uh, we sold them. Yeah. And then um, we have some... Uh, some by uh, Kento and most, it's all in fact by our own styles like Lamadale, uh, Kento, Everdale. Yeah. And um, those ones I didn't see, uh, I did see only one time, but yeah. uh, there's some very special horses in. Yeah, there's this some a, quite big ones also. Ah, they're all quite yeah. big, yeah, they're all quite big. And they look very good, uh, they, 10 days ago they were still in the field. Yeah, I know they and, look amazing. Um, and they just came out, so uh, yeah, that's nice. And it's always very interesting to see. Yeah. And to follow and to see how they develop and uh, yeah, it's very, uh, very important for us to, uh, to get our young stars out. Yeah, no, absolutely. And so out of, let's say you're breeding a, a hundred horses, how no, many top yeah, horses do you think are within that? Bre yeah, breeding, breeding and, and buying. buying. Yeah. Yeah. At the end, of course, if you have a stallion like Kento, then if you have that once a year, that's almost impossible. But if you would okay. have that once a year, that would be unbelievable. Yeah. But even once a star, once in the two years, is, it's then already uh, the, the, yeah. whole, the whole system is a success. I think that's good for people to know just how much work has to go in to find a yeah. horse like yeah. that. Yeah. It's not that you just breed 10 and two will be good. No, yeah, but it's the same like yeah. with football. How many big stars at the end are coming there uh, from all the young ones, that all the boys? That yeah, that's started. true. It's yeah. a little bit about the same system like uh, yeah. the big football clubs are doing. So now we're in the stable block for the uh, three? Three and four years four old. Four years yeah. old? Okay. They're all three and four years old and um, they pass the selection. Uh, some of them will go to our next uh, auction. Yeah. And a few will, we, will, uh, we will keep to uh, develop. And, and, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, the new stars should uh, come out of those ones. Yeah, so that's kind of interesting. That So we, you've got the lab where you start to select for yeah. the breeding, yeah. then you buy and breed some horses that you have next door, yeah. where they come in as two-year-olds, <laughs> and then they come here, they start to get ridden, you start yeah. to see the potential. And then some of here, some of here will move to a lot, the other rides to the other place if, yeah. you, want, if you want to spend to put some time in. Yeah. And the other ones are going to be sold on auction. So. Yeah. Because how many auctions do you guys do per year? Normally uh, two fall auctions yeah. and uh, two, uh, two auctions with young horses. Um, this year we plan uh, two years old, one auction, and one auction with three and four years old. Okay, so, um, so, amazing. So some, yeah. of the, uh, some of these will go there yeah. and then some will they, um, maybe make their way to you yeah. <laughs> one day. And those yeah. auctions are uh, all uh, going to be online. That's what uh, the corona time did bring us, uh, that uh, people are getting more used on online yeah. auctions. Oh, so you don't do any in like... No, the online auction wow. is really okay. perfect. People can come and see the horses here or try yeah. or whatever, or send people to try for yeah. other people. But uh, we're selling online. Okay, amazing. And, uh, and that's perfect. And that is yeah. the, the good thing that the Corona time did So bring there was us. some positives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then become a member where you can watch hundreds of videos like this, all horse related content, different disciplines, topics and they're all right there for you to access straight away so become a member and get full access to the content right now. <laughs>